upside down. Although he's not frowning, but he, he, he might be after that last performance against Guy Guy. Um, all right, here we go. So Guy Guy, you know, starting off very slow. Oh, Guy Guy is actually going for just an actual Luigi kit right now. This is something. This is actually like a, a lot different than I was expecting. Because if I'm being real, I didn't see the last gameplay. I was just kind of going off on blank because I can do that to him because he's my friend. But that being said, ooh, and we have a turnip catch from Luigi. He's not having any of that. Oh, and we have Blank's RNG coming into play. Wow. You know, for what it's worth, that very well could have just lent. Uh, he, I think Luigi, no, he didn't have a jump. Interesting. So I was watching that whole exchange with the belief of whatever happens, happens. Luigi has a jump. He didn't have a jump. Unbelievable, though. A great up air to back air. Oh, and he actually beats Peach's recovery. I think that's a two frame at that point because I don't think there's any other way to do that. Throwing out the Cyclone a little too early, but let's see if he can land eight. No, no, he's not going to land a grab. Not at this. Whoa. Oh, he did, but what's it going to do? Nothing. Not at this percent. I think he still could have gone for the Cyclone, but oh my god. Okay, so, you know, an eye for an eye. That's what I'm going to call that situation. You want to abuse your RNG? Unfortunately, you've, you've got to taste pain. And pain is uh, losing your float. Or losing your jump, because you had float, clearly. But float was another. Or jump was a whole other story. Either way, um, I don't ever want to call anything in these types of matches. Luigi just being such a volatile character. Oh, we have a friend jumping in. We have Salty Fun getting on the mic. He, he's waving. You know what? Here, hold on. Absolutely. Hop in. How are you? I'm not so lonely anymore. Hey, sorry. My voice was uh, killing me. I had to solo commentate quite a bit. And okay, pro tip for you. When you're on this couch, make sure you're standing up, sitting up straight because otherwise it'll mess with your, uh, you'll lose your voice quicker. Really? It's like, yeah, it's like singing. Like you want to be singing like up straight. Yeah. Anyway. No way. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even think of it like I that. I forgot about that. So I lost my voice pretty quickly. Anyway. Um, cause I was like this, uh. that, cause it, it, it's comfier. You got to yeah, admit. Absolutely. Anyway, let's talk about this actual game. So if you guys saw winners finals, it was actually guy guy versus a peach, but it was Cody. And one of the things about that game or those games, rather, there were so many times where guy guy was behind and then he would just have these ridiculous comebacks right here. We're not even seeing him have to make a comeback. That was just a, that was just extremely guy. volatile, classic Jeez. Luigi gameplay. Yeah. It's weird because. It's not necessarily as volatile as n we normally expect. As we Luigi. normally expect, for sure. Because sometimes he grabs, and it's like down throw back air, and I'm like, okay. And then sometimes he grabs, and it's like 80% combo that leads to death. I genuinely don't know what happens You will happens never know what's going to come between. from Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the craziest things that I wasn't like, you know, that, I, that I'm not used to seeing is he's using up air as like a combo move. It combos right into back air so flawlessly. Yeah, and not only that, like at lower percent, he gets like up air, up air, up air. Luigi's aerials have no end lag on them. <laughs> it's it's a very interesting sort of design. It is, like, yeah. They're, they're not necessarily safe, but they have no lag. So, well, it's not, as, uh, not only that, but Luigi has some of the worst aerial mobility in the game. Like, if you oh, put absolutely. those aerials on <laughs> any other character, they would be busted all to hell. But because he's so slow in the air, oh my god. Ugh. The good DI from uh, from Blank, at least, coming to expect that random upbeat. Yeah, and the... um. The stage also, because Kalos does have a bit of a higher stage. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that that's why Blank is choosing it like that. You know, he, he, he wants any chance to live off the top as he can. But again, there's all those aerials comboing into each other. Yeah, no, it's just so difficult. And this is something else that Guy Guy used so much of that down B in the set against Cody. Just long lasting. And also, it, because of the invincibility, it can test Peach aerials. Um, by the end of the set, Cody started to adapt. So far, though, we haven't seen too much of it. And once it starts coming out, ideally, Blank will be able to <laughs> adapt before it's too late. Look at that. He's so quick with that forward air. Beats out Peaches. And, and for whatever reason, we didn't see a blue screen of death there when uh, when Cody or when Guy Guy went for that uh, up B. Can't exactly explain why. Um, he already hit an up B earlier, didn't he? Oh no, I'm talking about he up him in the air, and we didn't see a blue screen of death. Oh, you mean like he didn't die? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh uh, well. Well, no. I. I mean. Okay. So you know how like the screen zooms in? Yes. We didn't see that zoom in, but we did see the up B activate. Oh, and yeah, no, I'm because it, it only does it, does it once. 
Oh, sort really? Of like, I believe so, because like, you know, Little Max forward smash? First yes. time it does it, it'll zoom in. And then the rest of it, for the rest of the game, it's like, yeah, we don't care. It's a Little Max forward smash. I'm pretty sure it only zooms in for the first up B that commands. I could be wrong about that. Um, it would make a lot of sense. But then you, okay, so you have to account for other moves at that point. There's the DK Giant Punch, there's, there's Falcon Punch, and all those moves have blue screens of death too. And I think they always do it. We have to figure out if Luigi's different or not. But again, there's that yeah. Cyclone coming out to play. It's like a timer. Yeah. All of you code monkeys in the chat, <laughs> figure out figure out what the deal with that is. <laughs> I do wish I could see chat. I mean, if m my phone wasn't on two percent battery, I would I would watch you. Oh my god! What yeah, the heck was there, that? Yeah, there it is. Those up air strings you were talking about. Yeah, it's the thing is also it's a di mix up. In that situation, because he hits him with the up air, he was holding away. He he's holding away. Yeah, he was But he's able to defense. follow at that point. No, Even no, with Luigi's. Because he was holding away, he goes for the up air and he goes behind him, DIing. At that point, it becomes DIing in. Right. Uh, so, oh, also, one thing that Cody was doing really well in the winners is he was edge guarding him. So far, we haven't really seen any. Like Luigi dies at super low percents. Even now, he's living. We've yeah. seen we've seen Guy Guy doing a fantastic job at keeping his jumps. And there, that's actually the second time in that one match doing a nair to back air confirm. Not only that, it was a nair to back air when he was in disadvantage. That's the, true. The fact <laughs> that he is not only making it back to stage, but then immediately converting it into his own stock. Able to like, just pull off that reversal. Luigi. He's supposed to have a bad disadvantage, <laughs> despite the fact he's a frame three nair, and I'm pretty sure a frame one invincible move with Dombey. It doesn't matter. He's supposed to have a bad dis like, like a bad disadvantage. And yet he still has that get off me move. Yeah, Guy Guy is finding the ways to get past everything that Peach is throwing at him. And as we move into game three here, this might end up being the 3-0 sweep. Guy Guy's in the winner's side, so he just needs to take this one game, and then he walks away the champion of Encore 164. Absolutely. And right now we're seeing, again, how, how like, again, lagless aerials, but he's still able to use them on shield. Luigi can be a wonder. But again, trying that poke, but it's not working out so well. Now we're actually seeing Blank take total stage control, which he's wanted for a while. Yeah. Okay, falling out of that down air. It would have been really cool if that last hit connected, but I know it's when you're moving like that, it's kind of rare to oh, do. Oh, that's a stitch. And, he grabbed the stitch. stitch that he Ooh. now has. How did he do oh, that? Oh, and there it is. That was so instant. Putting Blank from almost no percent to now all the way up going to almost 70. Yeah, and specifically against Luigi. Is he dead to a grab? Not just yet. Well, I there he don't know <laughs> about <laughs> that, Nair buddy. Confirming into a down B. What won't Nair confirm into? And what won't Guy Guy take advantage of? The answer may surprise you. The answer is, is everything and nothing. <laughs> yeah. That, that does surprise me at this point. Oh, here we go. Okay, Blank actually choosing to travel off stage this time. Ooh. It doesn't look like Guy Guy has a jump this time, though. Yeah, yeah, that was really smart with his Z drop right there. But one thing that we're not really seeing too much of from Blank is patient floating. You see, he's like floats for just a second, but he's not trying to fade back float so much or just float at a range that it's difficult for Luigi to get to. Oh, absolutely, yeah. All right, we have a little bit of lag coming out from Guy Guy missing that up B. But he's able to stay on the let. Oh, no, actually, he still has his jump. For all, yeah, Luigi had his jump. That means he's going to be fine. And now, Blank actually trying to confirm aerials into his own. We saw that up air, and we almost saw a forward of air, but unfortunately not. Yeah, Blank being very aggressive. He's, like I was saying before, oh, he's not really fading back so much. That's because he's constantly in his face. Earlier, he was getting hit from so. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, so earlier, he Did was that getting Cyclone beat anything out? Um, I think it maybe beat out a turnip pull. I can't remember exactly though. All right, there we go again using the turnip to his own advantage. Oh, he's Wait, not gonna have ledge invincibility, and Blank somehow misses the forward smash. That one hits the ledge. I think he was maybe just a little too far forward. Yeah, actually, that little blind spot. All right, yeah, that's. We've been seeing also Guy Guy gets a lot of parries, but he. Oh, <laughs> there it goes beating out the forward air. And yeah, that's the thing. It's it's basically a. You push a button, you lose. Kind Absolutely. Of, uh, answer. It's the ultimate. You have to respect this move. Mm -hmm. And all right, finally, I mean, you got to respect the booty too. <laughs> taking this, <laughs> taking the stock. Now we have one stock a piece, a super even game. The oh, most even, even for we've Elmo. seen it. 
Yeah, yeah, Peach has combos too. Peach has combos too. Although Peach has to respect frame three Nair. Luigi doesn't really have to worry about anything like that from Peach. Guy got going off stage and choosing to do so and catching a turnip yeah. in the process. It was a, a bait. He wanted the turnip. Absolutely. And he caught it. He yes, got what he, he wanted. <laughs> there we go. Oh. There's that Peach juggling we know and love. And you could see he threw out the down air. Peach is up air though. That disjoint outranges it. Really important. It's something we haven't really seen up until now is using Peach's superior range. But it, it's looking fantastic still right now, but this is so close. Anything can happen, although it's going to be a lot harder for Blank to just close out a stock out of nowhere. But when Luigi's at the ledge, this is possibly when it can. Oh, we're just seeing so many aerials on the shield. We miss a grab, though, but Blank doesn't take advantage of it and gets punished for it instead. Yeah, and now we're seeing Blank opt a lot more for neutral air as opposed to forward air, because that forward air has gotten stuffed out multiple times already. Very stale. And Nair, for what it's worth, still incredible at killing. Yeah. Oh. It's incredible at killing, but it's not safe on the shield when you're that close. And Absolutely not.